I can't do that anymore. I can't. I tried to sing. Oh. Take a breath. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be a tough one. Hey, what is up, everybody? It is me, Sean Tank Top, and I am over here at Casa de Tank Top. I'm hanging out with my very good friends, Dustin and Morgan Trace, over there at the Dojo Trace. How you feeling over there, Traces? Get ready to pay my respects. You know, somber. Yeah, somber you guys day. Bring your flowers. You guys get. You guys. Dustin's in all black. I got all black. Morgan, you'll, got, you'll, be, you'll be fine. You got George R. R. Martin. I brought my bag of piss, though. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> to throw at him. Um, we're talking about funerals. We're talking about bags of piss. We're talking about all of that good stuff because we are on the penultimate episode of this entire series, Succession, season four, episode nine, The Funeral. After like some of the, like the most needlessly gnarly week of their lives, like none of these things could be put on hold apparently. And I understand that some of these things can be, and it's just good for drama and blah, blah, blah. But we are now finally getting to the fe the funeral of Logan Roy. What uh, is gonna happen? <laughs> well, I mean, you remember the day after 2016, like that's what's gonna happen and a funeral on top of it. The nation's mourning. Well, I, I feel like it, the day after was like shell shock. Everyone was just kind of walking around like, uh. There also wasn't an event that people could maybe very specifically. Gather around. Gather yeah. Gather around to do it. So I don't know if there's gonna be anything like, I mean, I mean, there could be, there couldn't be. I think that it's not, it's definitely in the fucking cards. I mean, we could definitely get Connor could have himself another like, I'm a billionaire. Sorry, America. <laughs> like, like, I don't know. Like, 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 we could get we could get a little bit of that going. Maybe again, I'm not entirely sure. I'm kind of wondering what is going to happen with Shiv's deal because she probably had the worst time out of anyone as far as just like where the episode left her. She's going to head end. up like, the women's march and co-opt the work, the the work cat, of huh? other people. <laughs> she's going to like white feminism this to the bank. It's, it's been, it, it was a lot of stuff. It was like Tom kind of, I, I don't want to say double down, but he was just like, no, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, I have no idea. Like, you know, it, it was just one of those things where she realized that like not everybody is her family. Like Roman did that, pushed Jerry too far. Uh-huh. And then and then couldn't do it. And I think that that was very similar with Tom and mm -hmm. her and shit. But I mean, I don't know. Are they still going to go to the funeral together? No, God, no, no. I think separate cars. How is Roman going to do? Oh, yeah, I want to see this. I am intrigued. I actually don't know. Yeah, I think it's going to start out OK. It's going to go somewhere. Yeah. It's going to become very emotionally raw. Mm hmm. It's gonna get very real, embarrassingly so. And then I don't, but I don't know if he's gonna be able to to land it or not. Yeah, about that. It's gonna get messy as fuck, for sure. Of the three of them, Shiv probably would've given the most like solid of the speeches. K Kend Kendall is- it would, it would start off normal and then he'd throw in his little pizzazz. Yeah, he just- He'd have a little pizzazz. High on his own fucking fart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Starts rapping, you know. Dude, oh my God, if there was ever a fucking time to bring back L to the OG, like like R to the IP or something Ooh. like that. Oh whatever, God, like no. <laughs> yeah. Don't give him yeah. more, more fuel. It's gonna be wild, it's gonna be- it's gonna be messy, you know. I mean, people were already starting to send me memes. And I was like, get the fuck out of here. Fuck like, off. Fucking shit. Yeah, absolutely. It was, it was legitimately fucking off. So I say we should fuck off and just watch this fucking episode. You guys wanna get into it? Yes, yes. please. Hell yes. All right. Well, we appreciate you guys very much for hanging out with us as we go through Succession season four, episode nine, the penultimate episode of this entire show if you guys have enjoyed these and you guys want to get early and uncut access before these hit the streets before these hit the youtubes and you guys want to see it before anyone else does and completely full and uncut you can do that by becoming a part of our patreon the links in the top hand comment or the description below you click that uh down there that'll take you over to our patreon you pony up eight bucks at the premium streaming tier and that gets you full and uncut access before they go up on YT. But also we're gonna be firing up a couple other things. We got ourselves Secret Invasions coming out over there on Marvel. That looks like it's gonna be fun. Ahsoka's coming up a little bit later in the year. We also are firing up our, our buddy Angel 
is getting ready. We've already started shooting it. We shot one with with, with Morgan today. <laughs> Hence um, the George R. R. Martin shirt. <laughs> exactly. We got um, a, a friend of ours who watched Hot D, loved Hot D, never seen nothing, never got nothing spoiled about the original series, Game of Thrones, and we are going to be watching that. It's a pretty fascinating watch, and we're going to start putting those out um, uh, pretty damn soon. And on that tier, on that, it's available on that tier as well. So we hope you guys consider doing that. But if you can't do that, you still want to help us out, though, hit us with a like and subscribe, because that shit always helps. It never fucking hurts. Ring the bell thingy, all that good stuff. We thank you guys very much for coming by. Angry protesters continue to make their way towards AT&T's headquarters. <laughs> little fucking turd. Coming for your head. As you can see, here I am talking loudly about my fucking <laughs> Don't I perhaps? I am not an empty husk of a human. Yeah. I don't hate myself. I am the king of dong. Bow down to me. I selected the president. If he says I'm the king of dong in this eulogy, I'm going to fucking be elated. <laughs> uh, and the great, great man. Father, with your permission. Applause all around. Come on, let her rip. I think they got a, they, we, we have an extended masturbation scene with Roman. Yes, with every Roman time. Roy. Every time. <laughs> what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? He wins, he blocks the deal. It's, you know, it's exciting times, interesting times. Oh, my God. You, think, you know, for business. For Just a little Queasy Gonzalez. Yeah, 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 we're all busy. Okay, we'll see you at uh, Shivsky. Queasy Gonzalez, that's what he's calling Jimenez. That's got to be racist. There's no way. I'm going to just keep it real. I am concerned, okay? Everybody's saying that there's going to be major disturbances today, oh, yeah. and it's, thank it's you. Rumors. Okay, I'm with regret. They're getting out of Dodge. Get the fuck out of there, that dude. That is my decision, okay? Um, we're going to go to Travis and Robert. What are you even talking about? They never even got a hug from the guy. Who cares? Like, <laughs> okay, this is just... Have you left yet? No, we haven't left, but we're... Don't tell we're him that. Robbers in... Jesus, here we go. It's gonna be a big scene. I mean, Rava should have said, "Yeah, we're like fucking at a gas station yeah, yeah, yeah. and like." Yeah, why the f what the fuck is she doing there? Like, come on. What are you? You're not you're not bringing the kids to their grandfather's funeral? Are you insane? You're 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 too online. Okay, you've lost context. Oh Jesus. gosh, yeah, touch touch grass, Rava. Not fuck with me today. Oh my Do God. not fuck with me today. Dude, look at this guy. Okay. Bullshit. Pretext. You're trying to hurt me. All about him. It's my I'm gonna go to court to get an emergency court order to stop you leaving the city. <sighs> That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. How are you gonna do that? Okay. He's right. I mean, like, yeah. really, really, a lot of money. You can get it done. Unfortunately, it's how rich men abuse their wives. Your I'm gonna lie in front of your fucking car. Okay, you're gonna have to run me over if you want to go. What are you gonna do? I'll talk. Go ahead, do it. Well, a lot of people know. A lot of people don't want to go to the Hague for war crimes. Ooh, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's a hell of a write up. Holy fuck. Hello. Party time. Doing way too well right now, but that's. It's Roman for you. Well, I mean, I think I, 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 he was feeling so good, which means that it's going to fucking. Something is. Something horrible. I think somebody's going to jump out and do some crazy shit, like throw something on the casket or something. I mean, like, I don't know. Something. A coffin really flop? Up. Do you think there's gonna be a coffin flop? Oh, dude, we better get a coffin flop in this motherfucker. You know, <laughs> nude Logan Roy rolling down Manhattan. <laughs> I didn't do fucking shit. I didn't rig shit. I shouldn't tell you because I'm telling mom today, probably. So. Oh shit! Here we go. I wanted to say for a while, I'm actually I'm pregnant. There you go. <laughs> oh shit. Is it mine? <clears throat> <laughs> Jesus Christ. What a fucking asshole. Wow. <laughs> Great. And, um... Yeah, it's Tom's. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever ship you're popular. Yeah. Also, like, if I see you breastfeeding, I am gonna have to jerk off. Jesus fucking Christ, I, I man. I mean that because it will be hot. <laughs> Jesus, he's going hard in the paint. He is high. Uh, he is riding high on something. Yeah. I dropped the pin. I can guide you. Oh. <gasps> you did it. You did it. If it isn't the consequences of your own actions. What's this? What's this meet with you? Oh, uh, don't worry about that. She's so, quitting. So what is it? What uh, is this? Yeah, tell we just do it when we do it. She's quitting. Uh, oh, yeah. 
just want to talk about my uh, situation. Everyone's leaving you, Kendall. Okay, You're so a bad person. What about what is this today? Oh, well, well, now I'm thinking like all kinds of things. So, come on, what? Well, if you're going to corner this motherfucker right here and now, like... Well, I've been thinking about it for a while. It's so. been shitty working you for, yeah, for yeah, yeah. working for you for a while. <laughs> it's like, was she the one that had to like return sell all those lunch boxes on eBay because he bought all the lunch boxes and he didn't want them anymore? It's, it's kind of it's fucking dumb. You're being oh. Everybody's being fucking dumb. Okay, sorry I feel that way, Kendall. <sighs> Wanted to be like you or Man. save it for your book. Save That's it for your book, Jess. Yes. Lovely day to tell me. You fucking really asked. You didn't. <sighs> you cornered her. It's not her fault. Don't ask the fucking questions that you don't want answers to, dog. She was looking chic. Yummy. Sexy <laughs> funeral lady. Roman. I mean, that's what he does. Oh, Greg on a bike. <laughs> oh god, he didn't even. He didn't even get one of the fucking electric ones either. Is going to block the deal. And if Ken has lost his stomach for the fight, which I really hope he hasn't. They keep coming to this guy. I'll be, you know, rounding up a posse. Ooh. <laughs> oh. He's like, sure, Probably yeah. <laughs> oh, so he's there. Yeah. He's really gone. How much of you is glad? Ooh. Well, I miss him. Do you? Stockholm syndrome. Ha! <laughs> A little bit of China Look at her. She's like getting out. She's got her fucking paycheck. She's not. She's speaking free. You know. He is a rich woman of leisure now. Oh. Hi. Hi, Hello. She knows immediately. Yes. Um, no. Dang. I know. Well, I never. I mean, you did a couple times. Yeah. <laughs> At least, at least three, know. right? That we know about. That she knows of. Handsome Nazi over there. Is he, is he gonna win? And if he does, like, ironically, would that be bad for a tall blonde white guy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you offer him a U.S. CEO. Yeah, just for the U.S. properties. And it's me. Yeah. An American CEO. Like, who would you have in mind? Oh, I mean, I don't know. Anyone. Don't be cute, Shiv. Just say it. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Knows ATN can control the narrative. It's very, very. I actually, fixed your number problem so yeah. far. That's what I'm saying. I mean, he's Besides. like, she's got a W. Awesome. <gasps> can you intro? I can do fucking anything. My dad just died. Okay. He's here. Headline act. Shall we? Okay. Showtime. Okay. No, she's going all in. Yeah. 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 He is a handsome man. She like, oh, whore is a Nazi, but wait, she will kiss that Nazi if if also, it gets her. Thing, everybody yeah. keeps kind of everybody was knocking us last oh, week. Oh, Carrie's here. Oh, Carrie's here. Holy Why shit! With her weird to Tommy was so uh, for oh, a brother. Mark. This is Carrie. Yes, I am. Hi, Carrie. Hi. Come and meet Marsha. Oh, these are all the X Wives Club. <laughs> these are all, oh, X Wives shit. Club. I love that they're gonna start singing. You don't own me. I can't wait. I am was my Carrie, so to speak. Sally Ann was my Carrie. What is Carrie doing in the front row? She's in the front row. I love this. That is amazing. Solidarity <laughs> side bitches. At least he walked growing his teeth tonight. <laughs> at least he, oh, look at this. Because <laughs> they know Carrie gets it. Oh, look at it. Oh, I'm going to cry. This is. There we go. We got that. We got it's like Camilla. An understanding. We got Camilla a couple weeks ago. It's a fucking. It's been yeah, a yeah. great fucking. Great couple weeks for side for, for side pieces. It's been awesome. It's just a beautiful sight. We commend our brother Logan in the sure and certain hope that together with all. Oh damn. Those who knew and loved Logan best. Oh wow. Let's see what this he says. I'm going to speak. Yep. Oh. <gasps> Oh, fuck. What the fuck, Greg? What do you want me to do? Like, what are you gonna do, tackle him? It'll be a free-for-all after this. Yeah, yeah. That is bad when you when you kind of seemingly open it up and then anybody can fucking come in there Morning. and tell you. It's, yeah. What sort of people would stop a brother speaking for the sake of a share price? Boom. <laughs> <laughs> it is not for me that the U-boats would catch the vibrations through the hull 
and we would die in the drink right there in the hold. Damn. Three nights, a four-year-old and a five-and-a-half-year-old speaking with our eyes. Fuck, oh. dude. He always believed that he brought home the polio with him. Oh, no. Which took her. Certainly did nothing to disabuse him of that notion. They let it lie with him. Generational trauma. It's like that. Well, it's like that scene. I think it's in season one, episode eight or nine, where he's swimming in the pool and you see all the scars on his back and shit and everything. Are we actually going to feel bad for? <laughs> Some of you did too, but I can't help but say he has wrought the most terrible things. Fed that dark flame in men that keeps their hearths warm while another grows cold while another goes hungry <laughs> and even has the fuck it. fuck it let's fucking do far. this you can get a little high a little mighty when you're warm man <laughs> and then they, they cut to the, they cut to fucking can of course <laughs> he was not perhaps he had to because he had a meagerness about him and maybe i do about me too i try that's what makes the difference, man. Right. Trying. Right. Not giving up, you know. But sometime he decided not to try mm. anymore. Yep. And it was a terrible shame. Put a button on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Put a button on it. You okay. How are you gonna follow that? That should that sh that shook him the fuck up. That hit like so somebody who's actually speaking truthfully about his father, like just let Connor do his okay, speech. Son? Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, I pre-grieved, not your son. <laughs> I pre-grieved. Again with the pre-grieving. <laughs> Cromwell coming in with one of the most powerful fucking moments of the whole damn fucking like season. Like that'll do, Gramps. <laughs> that'll yeah, get a nice big, nice babe reference in there. Do. That's your grandparents. <laughs> um, my. Oh, Roman, you got this. He's six years old now. <laughs> now we're rooting for him. <laughs> <laughs> the true sense sense of the world word. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Carl's just eating this shit up. Yeah, so is Jerry. I can't do the thing. I actually can't do that anymore. I can't. I tried to think. Oh. Take a breath. Hey. It's okay. It's okay. Just take it. It's okay. It's okay. Oh. Is he in there? <sighs> Oh, he's just regressed. He's just totally regressed. He's, no, he, he's like I said, he's, he's six years old right right now. I have some of his uh, words, my, my sisters and my brothers, but. Um... Oh, he's going. It's going off script, baby. He's, yeah, 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 that's the only way you can do it at this point. You just gotta, you gotta just do it. Well, do it live. Fuck it. Do it live. Yeah, my father was. Um... A brute. Whoa. Whoa. He was, he was, you know, he had a, a vitality, a force. I think Kendo can beat this. Oh, yeah. I think he's going to central, he's going to centrist it a little bit, it, you know. The lifeblood, the oxygen of this, this, this wonderful civilization that we have built from the mud. Wonderful. Money. Cool. Any are any of you happy? Quickening the ambition to own and make and trade and America, America, America. Great things he made stand of ships, steel hulls. Mm, let's not talk, let's not bring up ships, <laughs> cruises. Let's not do that. Gave me and my three siblings. Oh. She's like, I, had, I was there. I kind of grew your whole skeleton in me. He knew it, and he liked it. Did he? And I say amen to that. He was the great and terrible god king that made a living hell on earth, and he liked it. You know, he yeah, liked yeah. it that way. He, 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 he went centrist on it and kind of did both, you know. He used to play outside his office. And I, I think because we wanted him to hear. Oh man! And uh, he would, you know, he couldn't, he couldn't fit a whole woman in his head. 
but he could fit a whole head into a woman. <laughs> Let me hear from the front row. Let me hear from the front row over there. When he let you in, when the sun shone, it was warm. Yeah, it was really it was warm in the light. My dear, dear world of a father. No. But Connor doesn't get to speak. <laughs> I know, let Connor speak. Since we're, since we're doing everybody, I mean. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow, Connor's really not doing, okay. That was perfect. Thank you. Talk later? Yes. That was perfect. Big Slytherin energy off that fucking motherfucker, man. Jeez. Shift floating a US CEO to play Kate Mekin. I'm wondering, Eva's giving all the tea to everybody, and I'm like, is this, and now I'm kind of like. Now are we back on that bullshit? Back on that, like, uh, conspiracy, yeah. where I'm like, is this a yeah. total. 5D chess. Turns out, fight, Lo turns out Logan isn't actually dead. <laughs> Surprise, motherfuckers. <laughs> Surprise, cocksucker. Show you around. So it also attacks right off, because it's technically a resident. Look at these fucking weirdos. <laughs> Jeez, it's like Dracula or something like that. You interested? And it makes oh, it that much bigger. Fuck. Oh, God. <gasps> Locked in a castle with your dead dad forever. How bad was dad? What you saw was what you got. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, yeah, and I saw it all. I saw a lot. So this is an explicit plan to fuck the deal. Me rule the world. And you can come, but it won't be a collaboration, okay? You'll be my dog. Jesus. Happy? Woof. Woof. No, oh, gosh. Ooh, a little pup play. A little pup play. It's cute. Did not need to know that. How you doing, big man? <sighs> yeah. How you doing yourself? Recruit him. Be like, so you can be my security guy. Because I hear you were talking to a head shrinker. Oh no, what the fuck? <gasps> confidential. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, but uh, I'm afraid it's not. What the fuck? Whoa. I don't love it. No, I no, no, I know, I know. No, I Me neither. <laughs> me neither. Come what work for me. Like? Again, he keeps trying to pull on this. The, he, he can talk to me. This yeah. Logan cosplay, you know. It's so fucking evil. It's so fucked up. All right. Well, I've said I'll, I'll try to help. Try to help. Mm -hmm. Hello, sir. <laughs> Greg Hirsch. Uh, TN with Tom. Greg. This guy knows me well. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, Tom and I were uh, proud to be pulling for you last night. For, uh, <laughs> just, yeah, just like Tom, saying it super loud, loud as fuck. Oh, okay. So, thanks. Yeah. Why don't you. Hey, hey, hey. It's the Take Grim Weeper. Tiny Tears. <laughs> Get him. You good? <laughs> 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 wow. No, he's your best friend, Roman. Look at these fucking leeches around this guy. What if I said to you, Pan Habsburg, American led EU alternative? What would you say to me? Mr. President? If you care to follow me, I'm your extraction team. Excuse me. No. You know about Supermom's plan? No, maybe. Well, here we go. Welcome, man. Okay, perhaps we... <laughs> <laughs> Stuff that I'm interested in, there's no need for me to be in, in deep inside it on a day-to-day -day basis. American CEO. There we go. Yep. I thought you hated me. <laughs> my dad was flexible. I'm flexible. I know how things go. It's like, if it serves my interests, I do have in anything. I have yeah. no moral compass. No, we're fucking... Yeah, we're, we're fucking... We're, we're, oh, for, we're fording this thing. We're Disneying this thing. I love your audience. Ohio. Oh, all right. Good talk. Have fun with Ohio. Shit, they were the only ones that kind of gave him a little something. You know what I mean? They yeah. gave him a little elevator That pitch. was the best show. It was succinct. Uh, excuse me. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I know, it's fine. Power move. By all accounts, it is. So when can you tell so. me? So... Because it seems so sad, Tom. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, that was a great fucking reading of that line. Holy shit. I, um, Died. 
I was. So I did say. I did say goodbye. Damn. <laughs> Damn. That was a weird. Uh, I At first, I thought he was saying it to fuck with her because no, she no, was. No, no, no. Yeah, and I was no, like, no, 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 he was being earnest. Yeah, I, at first I was like, he, he was saying it because it fucked with him. Oh no, no, yeah, for for a hot second I was there too, and it was, it, yeah, it was. Well, I mean, I, everybody's like, nobody knows how to actually feel fucking feelings in this fucking shit, so you don't know what's real and what's not, you know. I think I can make a USCO work. Great. Let's uh, let's make a meatball burger. Yeah. She was up, and now she's she was down, and now she's up. Yeah. Roman was up and now he's down. Everybody's just. Sorry. That's because you fucked him. <sighs> he's being his dad now. Okay. Take it easy. Fuck. Yeah. Um, I didn't fuck it. Yeah, you okay. fucked it with no, Jared. I didn't fuck it. No, I didn't because. You know, oh, he's exactly. doing. He's going. He's like, yeah. He's well, full fucking I mean, Logan cosplay you now. You have to get fucking real and fight Shiv at the board. The Royal uh, Boys versus Shiv the Shiv. Um. <laughs> These two brothers versus Shiv the Shiv. Listen to this. He's, he sounds like a sow that's about to get the stun gun and I knows it. Him? Don't okay. listen. You no, know, this circulating. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, yeah. It's, it's going viral. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Of course. We would. Listen, if this was IRL, we would watch this and, like, and, like, fucking touch ourselves under the fucking desk, like, watching this little fucking piece of shit fucking, like, crash and burn. Yeah, I mean, he had this coming. Whoa. Is he like going out to the thing? He's in self harm mode. What? Like, literally, Roman is just self harming right now. Yep. Yeah, he's just. Anything to take his mind off of. W daring somebody to recognize him. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Roman. He is. Is he gonna get beaten to death on live television? He just Roman. wants. He, oh. he wants the world yep. to punish him. The yeah. self-harming. Yeah. Or are they gonna play this up? CEO beaten by. Oh, this is not a play. This is. Wow. Jesus. I'm glad that the show is still killing it and stuff like that. They could totally do another season if it feels like if they wanted to. I know I could watch this for a whole nother season. One thousand percent. But you know that's the, the fucking that's the Brits, man. They they get the fuck out. Crazy one. A lot of stuff. It was like a funeral, and it was it was good in that it was good it was good in that sense. Um, obviously very, you know, like melodramatic and shit, you know, and and complicated because the, because everybody has a complicated relationship with the guy who's you know being buried and everything um but very a lot of a lot of just very like things you know I, again it's weird the moment with the side pieces with the wives with that the was like a little bomb on like a like a little we get to have nice things seriously like like it was unbelievable i mean like and, it, and again it's like it's like it's, it's all it was like that whole thing where it's all part of the game darling like, i sent you home on the subway to go back to your little apartment but we're here, mm -hmm. puts her hand on her hand. I was not expecting. Yeah. I wasn't right. expecting I mean, yeah, Marsha was... to be all about it. But like, yeah, when the mom, I was like, oh, that's totally within character of that well, mom I, character. I think yes. Marsha kind of saw her being able to bury that. She's like, oh yeah, that's my, she's my carry. Yeah. And then like, yeah, so like she saw the trickle down. She's like, listen, no reason for us to not be friends. Yeah. Uh, What'd you think? Pretty dumb. <laughs> it was it was a lot like a like a funeral. It, it, I feel very exhausted. It's so funny how we were like, fuck room that piece of shit. And he's like, you know, training around at like the opening. And then it's like, yeah, just immediately little <laughs> sniveling, pathetic little boy. And then you're like, oh, I forgot how sad he was. And then yeah. but he's still a piece of shit. And then shit. you go back. And then, no, no, no. And then, no, no. And then you go back. I mean, like, no, no, no. I think it was, yeah, you sort of, not to keep bringing up Game of Thrones all the time, you know, because, you know, Game of Thrones. But Game of Thrones, in the way that, like, they will make you root against, you know, two armies are fighting, and you're kind of rooting for both at the same time for different reasons. It, within these characters, 
I'm doing the same thing where I'm, I'm, you know, humanized and I feel for them in a certain way. And I also think that they're like the worst fucking motherfuckers ever. And like, you know, yeah. it, it, there's, way, there's ways that I can identify and I can, I can, I can empathize and I can be, you know, kind of be with them as characters. And then, you know, and then just be, I mean, and it's like, you know, it's like, I don't know, people, you know, it's family. You know? Yeah. Family. Yeah. You're so fucking frustrated by motherfuckers in your family, but you love them. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like and that and that's not for everybody. Sometimes, you know, people do things that are too far gone, you gotta move on and you gotta fucking do whatever, and that's fine too. But like but an element of that is there for sure. Is in like they're trying to make you feel like a Roy. Like with the eulogy and like everybody in that room where it's like it, it's this weird thing where Kendall's whole thesis of his like eulogy was kind of like the world's a piece of shit and everything's terrible but like we made like things that that just fill up our empty dead hearts with money and influence like he's like there's money we just kind of shove money in there and it's great right it's great and everybody's like yeah it's great we love money and then meanwhile you guys are all that terrible right yes you are yes you are you meanwhile I mean? every like, single one of those motherfuckers is miserable yeah true yeah I mean, everybody kind of got their, every, I mean, everybody got their shot except for Connor. I wanted to hear Connor's speech that would open them up to liability and like lawsuits. <laughs> yeah, I need totally. to hear that speech. James Cromwell. Oh my old, God. Old as fuck coming in, killing it. Absolutely glad fantastic. That he gets to, I'm glad that he still gets to do stuff like this as opposed to like Jurassic fucking world sequels and whatever mm -hmm. poor shit that they got him doing on just pay yeah. the bills and stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you really, like we haven't seen him in forever, but we kind of knew exactly what the fuck we know what the whole thing. And it was an interesting deal. I mean, he kind of, it's always fascinating because they don't go into it a terrible amount. And we knew the stuff about the sister, you know, and it you just kind of does these, 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 things i mean like they like they have people like this people this fucked up and this and and that think and allow something like it builds something like this that would do something like this to a nation you know there's context for that hurt people hurt people sean yeah i totally forgot about that moment in season one like episode like six or, or no, episode like eight or nine or something like that like what's her name um who's who is his last wife again god damn it marcia marcia marcia's Marcia. mm -hmm. out there and he's he's doing his he's doing his swimming and stuff like that and you start to see just really really lightly just all these scars yeah all over his back and they're just playing the theme and nobody says anything and you're yeah. just like god damn it like that's that's kind of this whole deal you know what i mean I've been at those fucking funerals where like people like yeah. people people like grab onto the casket and shit. You know what I mean? Like like you know it's 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 like it's 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 I mean it happens and yeah. it's it's uncontrollable. I mean it can be it can feel uncontrollable like in, yeah. in a certain sense, you know. And the you know I, I was thinking about this like, thinking about like the Roy's just like you know their their propensity mm -hmm. for for shit <laughs> shitty uh uh acts and, and endeavors scammers have gotten so sophisticated now where you know it used to be like you think about like oh like you know what kind of piece of shit would like steal your credit card and you, you have like in your mind you have an idea of what that person is right it's like because like it's like a faceless crime and they're just like haha i'm gonna take this from this person but now it's being very like personal where you have these like actual humans like doing performative acts like leaving voicemails about false funding opportunities stuff like that and you're like, come on, Katie from Direct Funding. Like, what kind of piece of shit are you? <laughs> or like these people that like take all these like old people's money and they're just like, yeah, yeah fuck them. Like, yeah, I'm just gonna take all that shit. Like, yeah. you know, yeah. people who can just learn to over time. You just get numb. Dehumanize and justify that they're like, well, I can just take this. And no, and I also think they compartmentalize. I bet like if you, that's your like, if you're like in a call center and that's your job where you just go in and you like kind of ruin people's lives all day. Yeah. But it's like every CEO ever. Like literally, like literally people that make like, I don't know, 20 fucking $2 an hour answering phones for insurance companies and shit. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, and like it's that just- that type of stuff. Everybody has like, to justify everything. I mean, you know, whatever, we're bartenders. Who, who, like we give people denies, alcohol all day. Yeah, yeah and I'm like, or so, like the person yeah. who denies, yeah, yeah, like like health insurance like uh, claims where it's like, that person basically fucks people over, finds ways yeah, yeah. in the policies, and that's what they do all day. But I don't think they th see themselves as like a shitty person. Yeah, people who give parking tickets 
You know, like, yeah. like imagine that's your job all day long. Every action you take is ruining someone's is ruining day. Ruining somebody's day. I was talking. I remember the last one I got. I was just talking with this guy, and I was just like, and I was really frustrated. But I try. I was so fucking. I was so angry. But I tried to to be like, how long have you been doing this, man? Yeah. And he's like, six years. And I was like, I I don't. I couldn't deal with this. That the kind of you're a special kind of someone if you can deal with this kind of energy for six years. That I'm that people be that people are giving you, you know what I mean? And I know that you're just doing your fucking job. Like you don't know what the fuck. Like you know what I mean? Like and it was and it, and he and he didn't he did he still didn't give me nothing. Yeah. Because you know, he, he's seen everything. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. But like, but it was. But still, that's kind of like, what they're like. I mean, they're just like, you know, uh, well, just uh, the world we live in, man. Yeah. Like, and I we're mean, building things. Yeah. And what, are we gonna not build things in a be gray and squishy world? Right. And that's gray Kendall. And world, and it's a gray and squishy world right now. It yeah. fucking like yeah. But well, Kendall's or is reaping. It? Or is it? He's reaping what 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 the, what comes of that? Where his wife is yeah. like, I can't be you know to the point where like he can't even have mm -hmm. his children. At his father's funeral, yeah. Granted, like he's not really he he's one of those guys that likes the idea of his children, mm. but not the actual like children themselves. He's like they're his property, mm. and so for him, it's like just a snub that how dare Rava take his children and not be there on his special day shows weakness of character. If he, you know, like he can't get a deal done if he can't even get his wife to come to his you know. Well, I think it's some of that wife, elements. Yeah. I think right. I think elements of that stuff is gonna fuck with them. I think that I think mm -hmm. Ro, you think Roman Roy is gonna be able to become a fucking CEO of anything if he has a viral thing of him fucking like. I mean, like no, him and, actually and, no, him breaking down at the funeral. Honestly, I think that would uh, what is the Q score where it's like uh, uh, rating that of celebrities' likability. That's gonna jack. That I think that actually will work in his favor. They're like, holy shit, these lizard people have feelings. Mm -hmm. A heart, I don't know, and then I well, think from the public, we, we, but like we, in a boardroom. Uh, oh, like, in the boardroom, oh, no, they're, they're all, yeah, they're I mean, all like, oh. no. Also, me, no. If I watch any of fucking, if I watch any of of uh, Rupert Murdoch's kids snivel and cry like a bitch, like on yeah. TV, like I mean, I mean, obviously, there's a moment where I'm like, I get it, this is all whatever. Also, fuck that motherfucker, like fuck that motherfucker like forever like so yeah but we're like we're like extra leftist though i feel like a lot of the no no the neolibs the neolibs are like i don't agree with what ivanka's doing but i think she's a good i think she could probably be a good influence on her dad like i don't agree what she's doing that like, could be something you they could, want you, you to on, like you could be onto something there but the, the middle of the road people yeah. will glob onto that and actually like see they're not so bad yeah um, or it's like i mean we're just like well, that, that's why everybody was like, well, now we're talking about politics. Uh, that's why everybody like was all mad at Obama because he was trying to like see the good. He was like, oh, Ivanka's like not so bad. And you're like, no, she's bad. No, she's like, bad. Like she's just bad. bad. It's big. I mean, it, it's kind of moved some things to the side and it looks like a very much like a shiv. He says the, the Roy brothers versus shiv. Yeah. The shiv. These two brothers versus Shiv the Shiv on Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. And I don't know. You know I, mean? like, I think I think Roman's gonna. It's, it's 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 Kendall versus Shiv. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, yeah. It, I mean, it, it's like I don't know. I mean, maybe he'll maybe he'll kind of bounce back or whatever it is. But I think this this is like a. I think I think the facade of Kendall of 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 Roman's like. Uh, no, I'm pre, pre grieved that, that whole bullshit. Yeah. I pre grieved. I, I, like, I, I think it's stuff, gonna be know? a. A uh, mirror image of like the first season wasn't the season finale was it like that board meeting where they tried to do the coup on him and yeah. Roman just froze yeah. and Logan just like like was like ah he's 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 with he me just called him down he's like no no don't you fucking dare put up that you know, put yeah up that, that hand, Romulus, I, you know, I or whatever. feel like yeah. it's gonna be a mirror image in a in a board scene where Roman's just gonna be a non entity and I don't know how it's gonna go if it's gonna which way it would go. Well, at this point, they've, they've got no juice. They got no juice. Mm. They got nobody's dick in their hand. But Kendall is smart enough to read the s situation. Yeah. Honestly, like that's something like old, like Kendall from a couple when he was like pre uh, life plus or whatever. Yeah. Where I just thought he was bullshitting and saying shit and he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. At least now, like he immediately saw where all the wheels were turning yeah. and, and like 
he has gotten better at like assessing reality. Mm. Where like he's 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 activated in a very interesting way. In 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 a way in a way that feels like it's him. You know what I mean? Granted, granted, he wants to wear his dad's skin and shit like that and everything, and he wants to just kind of do that. Granted, do I think that all of these? I mean, like they, they want to hold on to the shit that they have and they want to retain as much power as, as they can. But I think that he's the one who's like, yeah, man, I got to talk, talk. What's going on, big guy? You're going to see that fucking, you're going to see a head shrinker? What's going on over there? Blah, blah, blah. Like, that whatever was, it was so fucked up. That was crazy for sure. I mean, like, you know. Well, the, that's the guy. I mean, remember we, he helped him. He covered up his murder. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Remember that. that. That was that guy. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that yeah. So he wants to keep he him needs close. Him in. He's like, oh, you're talking to your shrink. Like, oh, now that like Logan Roy's not around, oh, I have to cover me. up. His dad's not there to keep him, his best buddy in line. He needed to not even mention the like, because that's like a threat, and this guy's dangerous. I think he should have probably appealed to been like, hey, I need my dad, and you are closer to than my dad ever. Can you like, I want you on my security team so that like, you can tell me. What my dad would like, she need to appeal. To there might have been a there might have been a rosier way to do it. The heart, sure. the heart sure. strings. Because I but feel that's, that uh, Kendall's looking for people to take him seriously. Yeah, he yeah. wants to be no, mean no, to no, everybody. What, no, no, no. He just he just made old dude. He goes like, "You're gonna be my dog. You're my fucking yeah, dog." Yeah, yeah. He's, he's bringing people to heal. He's really yeah, like, yeah. yeah, you're right. It's not, it's not partnerships. It's you know something that they said during the funeral. Like a couple people mentioned the idea of just like how like uh, Kendall especially where Logan could walk into any room and just be comfortable. And I think about that a lot with like my, with myself where like mm. a lot of times like is like I started off as a photojournalism major. Yeah. And the reason I stopped being a photojournalism major was one, photography was expensive because it was real photography. Uh, but two, to be a good photographer, you have to just do whatever you need to do to get the shot. And I yep. think like Logan Roy would do whatever he needed to do to get it to done. get it done yeah. whatever it is right and just that comfortability being like any room that you're in is like i don't belong here and if i don't belong here i will buy here mm -hmm. and then it's mine and i'll kick you out and there's certain yeah. people that can just like walk into any situation and just like it's their situation or it's like i could never i, I don't know like I'm, there's all these like little like secret clubs and stuff like that i'm like i wonder what it's like to be in there and I, I'm never gonna know. Like, because you need audacity to like just be like to make other people either feel uncomfortable or also like hurt people. Because like when you see those photos of people like weeping in a moment, a photographer is like right in like, their face to have the audacity and like kind of the like turning off of uh -huh. the emotions to get that shot is actually very cruel. Yeah, and then you don't there's think a, about there's, there's a big dissociation that's going on there. Yeah, yes. and, and you think about some other CEOs like Elon Musk's whole like tagline is move fast and break things. And when he's talking about things, he's like talking about like people, livelihoods, mm -hmm. Jobs, like environments, yeah. like oh, yeah. things are like yeah. the the things has an asterisk and the asterisk is fucking dark. Is, is and he and says shit, that yeah. in like interviews, like it's something way. like yeah. something to be proud of. And I'm like. It was very affecting. I think I don't know people. People have already been like, I mean, because I know I've talked about my my own father dying and shit like that. Well, well, as as it's been going on, but the big thing that I like, and and this one, you know, I I was it got me a little bit for sure. And like the big thing was, or like one that was very interesting, Frank and all those and all the guys like in the company when Shiv came up to him and she and she was just like. So what, so that was, was that really him? Was that the whole deal? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. was he, was he that bad? Yeah. Yeah, was he, was he all that, you know, and stuff? And I remember, it's just funny, like how you come to reconcile, like the people that you lose and stuff and how you have to go back and figure out things that you kind of just didn't understand at one point in time in your life. Like, I remember like my dad, I remember my dad very uncomfortable at home tightened in and like not talking that much and stuff like that he changed for he, he changed like a tremendous amount like in the last like five six years it was miraculous to witness but i remember that really fucked with me when i was a kid yeah like i just yeah. didn't know like what was going on and like mm -hmm. what was happening and then he would i would see him get together with like his like um like his people that he worked with and mm -hmm. his old buddies he's this totally different guy yeah and i didn't know what the fuck was happening Wow. And the whole thing, and I remember, like, you go to find out, talking about the generational trauma, like, how much of a monster, like, 
my grandfather was oh, and how like no. the homestead is not a place Safe. to be comfortable yeah it's a place to be feared and like you kind of learn that and you're like holy shit because uh, like, you know you know you, you just of course you just you internalize that stuff and you kind you're of, like you're it's because like, he hates us uh. right 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 for sure yeah, and like and the yeah. thing is and and so that was like that was very that was a very telling piece because there is like i wonder if that's how their relation their parents have different relationships with other people and stuff like that and sometimes you want to be there you know what i mean i never understood it until you figure it out and shit and it was like going back on some of that stuff has been cool in the way that like you have been watching a movie your whole life and you get to turn on the subtitles for the first time because it was in another language i know that element of it was really really well done and just how much of a goulash that shit is because you are you're making jokes with people mm -hmm. you got like your little fucking peanut gallery mm -hmm. you got like you're sort of kind of talking and uh, talking shit about other people that are there yeah, and stuff like yeah. that you know what i mean like and then I don't know. It was like, it was good in that respect. It was the most kind of off kilter that I felt since that one episode, like episode six or something. And this was kind of the most approaching it, but it was definitely, I don't know. It was definitely different. There's a big head to head thing happening, but I just don't think that we're going to get like this kind of finality type. Oh, of it's going to be a like, bittersweet, somber, yeah. like yeah. we are still miserable. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's going to. Yeah, it's, it, I think I think that's kind of where that's it, it seems like it's the only because there there is more story. Like, I do feel like it could be mm. a longer deal. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, like better to end before it seasonates itself. The Brits yep. know that better than any fucking American yeah. could. So anyway, so with that, we're going to try to end this motherfucking reaction right here. We just want to say we appreciate you guys very much for hanging out with us over here. Here, um, as we go through season four of Succession, if you guys want to get early and uncut access, if you guys don't want to wait that couple of two tree days that it takes for us to put all these stuff, this stuff together and get everything out on YT, and you guys want to see it before anybody else gets to check it out and you get to see it full and uncut, you can do that by becoming a part of our Patreon. The links are in the top pin comment or the description below. You click either one of those, it takes you over to our Patreon. You pony up just a measly. $8 at the premium streaming tier, and that gets you full and uncut access to all of our succession coverage before it hits um, the YouTubes, um, and you get a bunch of other stuff. We got a bunch of shit on the horizon. <clears throat> we got Secret Wars, Ahsoka. We got ourselves our GOT fucking rewatches re that we're doing with, um, well, no, reactions. They're just reactions from with, we, uh, with, with Angel, like straight up. They've never seen it before, so we got a ton of stuff on the horizon, really, really cool stuff that you guys hope, hope you guys want to check out, but if, we, if you can't do that and you still want to help us out, you can hit us with a like and a subscribe because that shit always helps. It never fucking hurts we appreciate y'all for hanging out with us and we'll check y'all later <laughs>